What's up guys? Welcome to Draw School episode 11. On this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to draw legs. So let's get right into it. Run my intro. So we have here, what I started with is the pelvis bone. Right here is the pelvis bone on the side view, the pelvis bone on the front view, and the pelvis bone in the three quarter view. And I'm gonna show you guys how to draw legs now. Legs are probably the hardest thing for me to draw. And it's probably because of this. Here, let me show you guys real quick. Let's say this is my piece of paper or my sketchbook, right? Every time I draw or every time I used to draw, I do this. Oh no, what is going on? Um, uh, yeah, sure, let's put it right here. Ha <laughs> ha, got the legs. You guys see what I mean? Like, I used to never like measure beforehand to draw legs and I used to just squeeze them in. And that's why I feel like I am not the greatest at drawing legs anymore. Like the smart thing to do is to pose your character from the start, you know, say, okay, so this is going to be the torso, this is going to be this, the leg going to be here, like that, like that, stand here, it's going to be like this, like this. Superman. Right? But yeah, I didn't do that back in the day. But let me show you guys how to draw legs. We have the pelvis bones, as I was saying earlier. Let's start with the left leg. Now, what I came to find out is legs aren't that difficult once I made enough room to draw them. It's just you have to, you know, do a little studying, a little studying. And if we do it like all the other limbs, let's do it like that. So the leg is attached here by a femur bone and then you have yeah, this is the femur bone here and you have your kneecap and then you have your I believe this is your tibia it has been double checked by google this right here is your femur this right here is your tibia but there's also a second bone called your fibula enough about bones you want to learn how to draw you don't care about these anatomy turns you're never gonna use them maybe how I would do this is I would add my joint go down add a joint and then this section is about the same size as this section if not the same there's a lot of symmetry in your body for a reason we are designed very well so I would do that right and I already kind of lightly drew that in there to help me out to get it where it goes the cool thing about legs or the trick with legs is one side is rounded and while the other side is flat so the front of the leg on the side view is round and it comes down like this now back here would be your bootay but your leg will come down in a more flat line like this you follow my drift some more flat line and it's tapering inwards at the time you see this is round and flat and then for your knee you have a little your patella is your kneecap so it's in there like that it's kind of floating you have a bone here like this and a bone like this like this and it's kind of like a big bone like this that attaches kind of like that but your tibia is there and then you have or your femur is there and your tibia is attached here like this and it goes down and attaches down here but you have a fibula on the outside of your leg so here you see it like that and this is how you get shin splints when these two bones are bending away from each other 
I get really bad shin splints, guys. So that's the bones. I'll skip over bones for the next legs. So because you have your patella there and you have a little bump there, as we all know, the patella is usually hidden by a a muscle group like this so usually you see a line on muscular legs going like that but on most legs you don't so let's just keep it like that nice and neutral now that you drew this round shape here of course we got to draw a straight edge down so now this part of the leg is pretty straight now and then when you get down to your ankle there's a little curve out to your feet, which we're not going to get into today because that's a whole nother lesson. Maybe the next one. All right, you guys following along. So side. All right, now this, I would tuck in this line like this and I would take this one back. You see, so you go straight and round. Like so for the calf muscle. Sometimes I like to throw it into the leg, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And that would be a side leg. Now you see how there's a shift, so it's kind of like doing down and then a little bit back and down. Crazy, right? So it's like this little shift here. I swear I struggled with this for the longest time guys for that reason I told you in the beginning of the video all right so now we have front view it's a little bit different but same principles the only thing is the outside is gonna have round the inside is gonna have straight lines so from here from this side right down around, like that this leg should start right here, straight line, tapering down to your knee. Sometimes I just like a loop it there, just to put an end to it. Loop. Always throwing lines. I always like to throw my lines. Keep that 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 line weight nice and clean. You don't want to do furry lines. Furry lines are not cute. All right, so there it is. And of course, you have your kneecap here. And I told you that there's a muscle group that's some that usually covers it on muscular folks either like that or the other way depends on your reference use your reference top half thigh and then again well sometimes I like to put a little cylinder here just to keep everything together that's just what I like to do you guys can probably just start the leg here but I just like to do that and then I go out this part of your leg by your calf has a little roundness to it but it's a little lower so we'll start going straight down then we'll curve about here and that's because your calf muscles on the back of your leg are kind of like this one's a little I was teaching you guys anatomy and muscles and things. That's what the muscle back there looks like. And that's why this guy is a little lower. And then from there, I just like to throw it in, but taper it. I actually started the ankle way too soon on this one. You know, same same habits I'm trying to get rid of of drawing the feet too early because my paper is running out and then the ankle I usually draw on the outside. I only have a small ankle bone on the inside too. And see that is red. And for this one you can basically copy it over. We got some legs! Yo, I'm just gonna leave that like that because that actually looks pretty cool. I'm happy with it. Okay, three quarter of you guys, let's get to it. On this one, it's almost pretty much almost identical to the side leg. 
not even sure why I'm showing you it. It's so identical. So same thing, curve line down, straight line down like this. You have your patella or your kneecap. Then there's a muscle group, the muscle group that covers it. I like to draw the little cinder, cylinder. <laughs> like I told you guys earlier, like that. Then you have this line that goes out. So it goes curve, curve, straight, straight. And this line goes down like this. Curves. I like to put this line here because your shin sticks out a lot in the front of your leg. But there's that, and then the little shin right there, tapering down to the ankle line. I like put socks on my legs. This helps me. I don't know if it'll help you guys. It's probably my pro tip or what I do. What I consider my pro tip. There are some legs. That was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. And I was always scared to draw legs just because I never drew them, you know? Just because I never measured the page enough to even fit legs. And now I'm looking like, wow. I was really doing damage to myself. So guys, please, if you're gonna draw a full figure, make sure that you are measuring your full figure first before you get into it, because then you might end up having some wonky legs or how to draw leg issues. And if you heard that burp in the background, that was my wife, I apologize. How gross. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so that's how to draw legs i'm just gonna find some reference and draw a leg for you guys and i'll talk to you soon that's it guys that is how you draw legs legs are probably one of the hardest things for me to draw but i think i got a little bit better while i was teaching you guys all right so as always go ahead and click subscribe like this video and comment and you have a chance on winning an illo sketchbook at the end of each month can't wait to see you guys in the next one